Hi, good morning everyone. Welcome to Midjain Information Literacy. I am Sir Rich Wang. Okay, let's play. Do you get out the four picks one word? So, ano kaya ito? Very good. Ito po ay Titanic. So, meron pa. Familiar ba kayo dito? Siguro nung familiar kayo dito. So, ano po yan? Yan ay Pokeball. Ito ay pinapalabas din sa TV. Nagkaroon din ng laro nito. Ito ay Pokemon. So, meron tayo dito si Caterpie, si Metapod, at si Butterfree. Okay. So, ano yung napansin nyo dyan? Maliit, palaki. Okay. Or, nag-evolve. Si Caterpie naging Metapod, naging Butterfree. So, siguro naman, may idea na kayo. So, i-discuss natin yan. So, about the evolution of traditional to new media. Objectives, examine the technology or resources available during the prehistoric age, the industrial age, the electronic age, and the new or digital age. Identify the devices used by people to communicate with each other, store information, and broadcast information across the different ages. The evolution of traditional to new media. We have here a diagram or a picture. So, makikita natin dito, traditional media versus new media. So, andito yung kanya uh, pagkakaila. Traditional media, media experience is limited. While the new media, media experience is more interactive. Limited lang ng no, traditional media kasi andun lang, eh, diba? newspaper, radio, television. Okay, while sa new media, with the cell phone, dito si internet. Traditional media, meron tayong tinatawag na one directional. Then, sa new media, meron naman audiences are more involved and can send feedback simultaneously. So, dito, uh, one directional kasi yung mga tao, ano, nanonood lang, yung mga nagbabasa lang. So, while dito kay new media, audiences are more involved. So, pwede silang magbato agad ng feedback dun sa nabasa nila, diba, sa Facebook, o kaya sa true text, email, okay, sa so napanood nila, pwede silang mag-comment. Traditional media, sense, receptors used are very specific. Example, print media, sense of sight, radio sense of hearing, TV and film, sight and hearing. Kung sinabi naman, sense receptors, ito lang, haanood ka lang, gamit ang mata, may tipig ka, yun. So, panonood, pakikinig yun lang sa traditional media, then sa new media, integrates all the aspects of old media. Pag in-integrate, ibig sabihin na isinama na lahat, no? Mayroon ng, sa, no, sa cellphone or computer, mayroon ng TV, pwede ka nang manood, pwede ka nang makinig, ng sounds, music, paglaro, ng internet. Discuss natin the evolution of media. Sa pre-industrial age, is the time where no written accounts of history. People discovered fire, developed paper from plants, and forged weapons and tools with stone, bronze, copper, and iron. So, dito sa pre-industrial age, natuto na yung mga tao na gumawa ng apoy, mag-develop ng mga gamit, gumawa ng papel, halit sa mga kalaman. No? Dito, ito yung mga naipala, no? cave paintings, 35,000 BC, clay tablets in Mesopotamia, 2400 BC. So, yung itsura niyan. Papyrus in Egypt. 2500 BC. Meron din yung halaman na papyrus. Tawagin. Actadurna in Rome. 130 BC. Then, Dibao in China. Second century. Ayan. Yung mga may talanong codex in Mayan region, 5th century. It's printing press using wood locks, 220 AD. Then, petroglyphs are carving or engraving in rocks or caves. So, pinakita natin kanina, pictographs, sketches and paintings that usually depict natures. Megalithic art involves the process of arranging or stacking together artistically the stones or big rocks for certain purpose. Okay. Oyayi o hele, lalabas that represents mother's care and love to their child. Mother sing to their child to sleep. 
So, yung mga una mga ano, pipipagihele ng mga nanay, ng mga anak. Uh, part of communication pa rin yan. Industrial age, 1700s to 1930s. Oral and written form of communication started. Storytelling was the primary method of delivery. He produced the power of steel developed machine tools, established iron production, and the manufacturing of various products, including books, through the printing press. Ito, alimiyan ko lang natin yung paggamit ng power of steam dito sa industrial age. Dito nag-start na rin yung oral and written form of communication. Nakapag-usap na sila, then nakapag-communicate, gamit yung uh, pagsulat. Printing press for mass production, 19th century. Ito yung ginamit nila, yung printing press. Then yung itsura nun. Newspaper, the London Gazette, 1640. Ayan, itsura ng uh, newspaper na yun. Typewriter, 1800-1876, telephone. Motion picture, photography projection, 1980. So, itsura nun, motion picture. Commercial motion pictures, 1913. Ayan po. Nadagdagan lang. Motion picture with sound. Ayan, telegraph. Punch card. Po. Yan yung mga ginamit ng industrial age. Punta tayo sa electronic age. 1930s to 1980s, the invention of the transistor ushered in the electronic age. People harnessed the power of transistors that led to the transistor radio electronic circuits and the early computers in this age. Long distance communication become more efficient. Here are the examples ng transistor radio and television. So, yan po. Example niya. And large electronic computers, yung EDSAC, 1949. Electronic delay storage, automatic uh, calculator. Then, Unibac, so 1951. Mainframe computers, IBM, 704, 1960. Yung itsura niya. Personal computer, Harold Packard, um, 9100, A, 1968. So, Apple 1, 1976. Ayan. OHP, invento na. Then, LCD projectors. Dito, siguro, uh, LCD, pamilyar kayo dyan. Ayan, mga LCD projectors na ginagamit natin kaya. Evolution of computers, first generation, 1940-1956. The use of vacuum tubes for circuitry and magnetic drums for memory and were often enormous, taking up entire rooms. Now, it was developed by Lee de Forest. Yung pinatawag na vacuum tubes. Revolution of computers, second generation, 1956 to 1965, the use of transistors instead of vacuum tubes, developed by Bell Telephone Laboratories. So, yan, yeah, meron siyang tatlong paa. Third generation, 1965-1975, the use of integrated circuit, or IC. So, it was developed by Jack S. Kelby. So, IC na, huh? after noon. After ng vacuum tube, naging transistor. After ng transistor, naging IC or integrated circuit. Sa so fourth generation naman, so 1975 to 1989, the use of microprocessor, as thousands of IC were built onto a single silicon chip. So, the one 1971, by a team of logic architects and silicon engineers, so, yan po yung, uh, yung processor na kanilang ginawa. Information age, so 1900s to 2000. So, Internet paved the way for faster communication and the creation of the social network. People advance the use of microelectronics with the invention of personal computers, mobile devices, and wearable technology. Moreover, voice, image, sound, and data are digitalized. We are now living in the information age. So here are the examples. So web browsers, so Mosaic, Internet Explorer, 
Tumunta tayo sa blog, Blogspot, Blog Journal, Wordpress, o ano po yung mga tsura nila, mga icon, or logo. Social Networks Friendster, yan. Yan, multiply, Friendster, Facebook. Sa microblogs, so yan, Twitter, then, under, video. So, YouTube, pamilya na pinigil na kayo dyan. Augmented reality or virtual reality. So, ayan. O, oh, yung mga nasusot natin na yan. O, oh, talagang totoo. Video chat, Skype, Google Hangouts. Search engines, Google, then Yahoo. Okay. Portable computers, laptop, netbooks, laptop, smartphone, then wearable technology. Ayan yung mga... Digital na yun, sinusot natin. Cloud and Big Data. Dito sa Big Data and Cloud na ito, so ito ay platform kung saan yung mga data natin na pwede natin i-store no? sa cloud para kung nasira man yung ating computer, so may backup tayo na nandun sa cloud. Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web. Then IBM Simon, or Simon Personal Communicator, the first device that could really be referred to as the first smartphone because you can make and receive calls and passes and emails and more. Six Degrees, founded by Andrew Wayne Rich, 1996, is widely considered to be the very first social networking site. Mayroon tayo dito ang roles and functions of media in the democratic society. Okay, nandang tayong channel, watchdog, resource center, then advocate. So, channel provides opportunity for people to communicate, share ideas, speculate, tell stories, and give information. A watchdog exposes corrupt practices of the government and private sector. Okay, resource center acts as gateway of information for the society consumption. Then advocate. Through its diverse sources or formats, it bridges the gap of digital divide. Yung sila yung magawa ng paraan para mawala yung di ba kakapantay-pantay paggamit ng mga teknolohiya. So that's all for our lesson for today.